This is a change of scenery in the dining room. Spent the last couple of days clearing everything out. Because if you remember, about six months ago or so, we had a leak from my new HVAC system and got this crack and sagging sheetrock now. Well, after all this time, the contractor that uh, the HVAC guy has hired has finally got some time to come by and start doing the repair work. So, they're supposed to have the the guy was supposed to come by around 2.30 this afternoon. So far, it's going on 4.30. Apparently, he's tied up with another job trying to get it finished. So whether he gets over here or not today, it remains to be seen. But Sunday, they said they'd be here by 8 a.m. So I'm holding them to that. I guess they wanted to see, you know, the progress and all that, you know, clean it out the dining room. Of course, I can't clean out my desk. They're going to have to put plastic from the top shelf on down because this is bolted to the wall that can't be removed these shells same thing just drape some plastic over it cover it up and i'll probably put plastic over the entrance to the living room i'm guessing they're going to put plastic over the blinds i'm not sure i'm assuming they are and then another piece of plastic over the open bar that i had put in way back in 2004 when i was redoing the kitchen so that'll have to be covered but yeah everything has been cleared out dining room table is in the bedroom kate's corner uh cabinets are in the living room you can probably see them right there so we move pretty much move stuff here and there and everywhere but uh you know i got some stuff in here kind of just filling up in the um ebay room the stuff that's selling but I'll go ahead and probably come in the bedroom and see where the table and chairs are. There they are. Rug. Tiffany lamp. So, yeah, at least for the next couple days. I'm hoping they'll have this thing. I mean, my guess is they probably have this ripped out. At least whatever they think they're going to take out. And then new sheetrock in and mud in one day then all i got to do is come back out you know sand it maybe another coat of mud and then sand it again and paint it so luckily i don't have that popcorn stuff on the ceiling so this should make things a little bit easier now i'm guessing they don't have to take anything down from where the ceiling fan is i'm guessing they're just going to cut a line they may have to come over to about where my desk is because there's a dench indention right there from a screw that obviously the sheetrock is detaching from so they may have to come maybe a good two three feet from where the main crack is so not really sure but i'll let them make that determination but yeah this is the final project for 2020 and this is not being uh this is not coming out of my uh bank account this is being covered 100% by the HVAC guy. So I've actually got sheetrock from Projects Past, so I told him, hey, use it up. You know, it's free, so you don't have to buy materials. You know, I got my own plastic. I've already brought that in. That's going all the way back to when I built the Mega Shed almost 10 years ago now. So I got plenty of plastic they can drape over and all that. Um, all they got to do is supply the mud and the tape and, well, and basically the labor. So... Yeah, I'll go outside and I'll show you the sheets of uh, sheetrock that I broke out that they're going to use. All right, here we go. So this is 5 8 in case I need it. I don't think we're going to use that thickness, but just in case, I've got a full sheet from when I had the windows replaced in the, um, in the house. And they never uh, used the sheet of sheetrock to, um, you know, readjust or recenter the windows or whatever with uh, you know the old windows to the new windows so I've held on to that because that stuff is not cheap also got another strip of 5 8 right here this is a strip of half inch thick sheetrock and also a couple squares of half inch sheetrock so 
that's my guess is they're gonna use some of these supplies you know like I said I don't have a use for them so I told them hey they're free go ahead and use them for the repairs so that's the plan and we'll just go from there and we'll let them have at it when they get started well the guys didn't come by yesterday I guess he was stuck on another job and couldn't get around to it so just took the ceiling fan blades off this morning kind of get them out of the way because yeah they're definitely in the way of bringing down this old sheetrock so they say they're going to be here at eight and it's currently uh, about 15 till seven so i thought i'd get another shot of the wide open dining room i'll move my chair out and then they'll start draping plastic over everything so yeah see what the, all this entails and how much they're going to be taking down hopefully just the section above my desk so we shall see hopefully and i don't know if i'll be able to get progress of them i'll try to i'll try to get some video but yeah it's gonna be a dirty job all right right on time crew's here at eight they're getting their stuff together we'll start ripping this out inch and five eighths sheetrock is not going to work that I've got and that's all ton and groove up there which I knew that's what it was because it was pretty easy to you know tack up the ceiling fan you didn't have to search for a stud because all this one by four I think it's one by four one by six ton and groove is up here so yep so they're going to go get some three eighths sheetrock and come back and take it down patch it up
All right, so they went to go get a one sheet of three eighths sheetrock. It's basically eight feet in length. So I'm just going to go over some of this mold and get that out of there with some Clorox, water Clorox, and get that cleaned up. And they can just put it on, mud it up, and uh, call it a day. And then come back Monday, sand it, and maybe a little more mud if they need it. It might be ready to paint. All right. All right, that looks a lot better. Got the black mold wiped off with Clorox and hot water. So, yep, now we'll just wait for them to show up and uh, put the new sheetrock up, mud it, and call it a day. <laughs> Nice. Looks really good. Now I'll go ahead and mud it up. Alright. Mud it get a little bit more on there and it's already drying. Looking good. Yeah, just a little bit more mud. That'll be done. Alright, I think that's a job. Just gotta dry and I'll have to come back and sand it. Looks alright. Alright, final coat for today. They'll come back in the morning and they're gonna wrap it up. I probably won't 
get that on video maybe i don't know but i mean the majority of the work is done so you know the plastic will stay up until tomorrow but uh yeah they'll be back 7 38 in the morning so yeah just to wrap this up shouldn't take more than a couple hours it sounds like and then that'll be it so yeah looks a lot better already than having that ginormous crack that i had there for the last six seven months so glad that's gone all right well we'll just wrap up this ceiling sheetrock patchwork replacement so until next time adios